As of June 28, 2024, the only noteworthy developments concerning the hacking of Kominfo and the National Data Center PDN, of the Republic of Indonesia since June 20, 2024 are the normative updates from the National Cyber and Crypto Agency BSSN, and the Indonesian Ministry of Communication and Information. This demonstrates Indonesia's inadequate cybersecurity and is a very severe and horrible situation. The government's failure to safeguard its citizens' personal information is the least concerning aspect, given the numerous hazards the Indonesian state faces. There is undoubtedly legislation pertaining to personal data, specifically Law No. 27 of 2022 about personal data protection. If state secret data, including intelligence data, is kept there, then nothing interesting is there. Naturally, careless individuals may exploit the nation's strategic initiatives for their own ends, including jeopardizing the safety of financial transactions. Despite the fact that Cominfo is the organization that oversees this domain, nobody has accepted accountability for the occurrence. Budi Ari Sitiadi, Minister of Communication and Information, received a barrage of negative comments on his personal social media accounts from online users who demanded that he step down. The modern world no longer views war as a physical conquest like colonization, instead, war is fought through tactics like the spread of viruses, cyber attacks, and even economic wars. This serves as a stark warning to the government about how it must maintain its cyber security going forward. The interesting thing is that BSSN acknowledged that only 2% of the data could be saved during a working meeting with the House of Representatives, or DPRRI, the Indonesian parliament. The relevant agencies are so irresponsible. After hearing BSSN's explanation, Mutia Hafid, the chairman of Commission I of the House of Representatives, believed that ignorance rather than poor governance was the cause of the 2% data backup, as reported by inyla.com on June 27, 2024. Memang akui itu dan itu yang kita laporkan juga. Uh, karena kami diminta untuk apa saja masalah kok bisa terjadi. Itu salah satu yang kita laporkan juga, Pak. Maksudnya, Pak, kalau nggak ada backup sih itu bukan tata kelola sih, Pak. Siap. Kalau alasannya, ini kan kita nggak hitung Surabaya uh, Batam backup kan, karena cuma 2% kan. Ya berarti itu bukan tata kelola. Itu kebodohan aja sih, Pak. Iya. Punya data nasional dipadukan seluruh kementerian harusnya. Untung katanya ada beberapa kementerian yang belum komplai, belum gabung. The head of BSSN actually appears to be blaming Kaminfo. Kaminfo appears to be under attack from BSSN head Hinsa Siberian, who claims that the organization does not back up its data. This relates to BSSN Regulation No. 4 of 2021, which, according to Tempo.co, June 27, 2024, states in Article 35 Paragraph 2e that regular backups of data and software in PDN are required. This regulation covers guidelines for information security management of electronic-based government systems and technical standards and security procedures for electronic-based government systems. In another instance, Indonesia's cyber defense remains comparatively weak in comparison to other nations, according to Minister of Communication and Information Budiari. According to MIT Technology Review Insights 2022-2023 Cyber Defense Index, Indonesia is placed 20th out of 20 G20 nations. Because the hacking of state data has such a large impact, the Indonesian government, especially connected parties like Kominfo, needs to take this seriously. I'll only touch on three points. First, the disclosure of private or sensitive information. This information may be exploited for a variety of purposes, such as fraud, espionage, unlawful activity, and the theft of state secrets by unauthorized individuals. Second, since investors and business people frequently carry out electronic banking transactions, the PDN breach may erode their confidence. The third is the suspension of public services provided by organizations that have a close connection to the community. Fourth, there is no doubt that the National Data Center, or PDN, hack seriously undermines Indonesia's national security because malicious actors can use the data to launch attacks in a variety of ways that naturally have the potential to harm national interests. For instance, while such attacks are unlikely, it is evident that state secrets may already be in the hands of other parties, weakening Indonesia's negotiating position in the international community. Hopefully, this issue may be rectified swiftly and Indonesia can take note of the lessons learned from this experience, not undervaluing data and information, which are extremely valuable in this era of artificial intelligence.